up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be spreading some muck. So our dump heap down there um, we need to get rid of because it's very very full at the minute. So what we're going to go and get now is a muck spreader um, with the Massey 6499. So yeah we're going to go and do that now. We've just collected the bombing spreader, if you can see in the background, and we've hired it for the day. I'm not sure how many tons it holds, but um, it's quite a big spreader. But I think the stickers were up, um, ripped off somewhere. But we're just about to get the first bucket full from the Manitou um, and put it into the spreader. And then we're also going to get about two or three loads before lunch, and then after that we'll have full steam should get most of this pile cleared hopefully and it's most of the manure from winter but we're gonna try our best and try and get as much of a dent in it as we can this manure here is from the calving pens and also a bit from where the calves are, um, mostly. And then we've also got at the bottom, there's slurry because when we scrape, we scrape it down here and then we can just push it in. So that's why the bottom of it is um, kind of wet and um, slurry-like, not like the manure that's um, filling up the rest of it. going to be the first load of manure that we're going to be spreading today. I'm going to step back so I don't get covered in manure box muck because that wouldn't be very nice. Actually spreading box muck or manure or whatever you want to call it on the ground and um, we're putting it on a ground that we have sprayed off and we after we have spread all the box muck on this ground we're gonna plow this field and then we're gonna see so um, spring barley I think it is in this field as some of you may know box muck is very good for the ground and um, it's better than slurry because it has lots and lots of organic matter in it and um, it helps the soil structure so when we plow this in it shouldn't be there when we plow this in um, it'll go straight into the ground and it'll be um, great for the soil structure and hopefully make us have a great crop of spring um, spring barley in here handbrake off it's, it's quite narrow in here so it's, it's tricky enough.
shoulder put this much muck on because it would just be t on a too thick a ratio but since this is all going to be ploughed in it's fine and um, so we've decided to keep the speed the same and not put it on and um, less not put less on but yeah um, we're going to go and do another load and then that'll be three loads out in another three minutes which is good because that's a quick machine I tell you we are smashing it we are getting through the muck heap very very nicely um, there is about four there's four bays in this muck heap and we're about two and a half done so there'll be about um, at least four or five loads left in here um, which is good and then we're also going to do um, muck out a few other pens um, so that we can get the most on that field as possible We can now see light at the end of the muck heap. Yes, please. Yep, we got all the muck cleared. Fantastic. It's all gone and it's all spread in the field. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've seen us put out some box muck or manure or whatever you want to call it um, onto the field that we're going to plow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also make sure to make also make sure to press the like and subscribe buttons down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And also we're trying to reach 600 subscribers before the start of uh, silage season. So yeah, thank you. Bye.